Hi, I'm Mike. I'm sitting here with Dustin from the Pittsburgh Software Craftsmanship User Group. He's one of the uh, organizers that helps uh, manage that group. Uh, welcome, Dustin. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about Pittsburgh Software Craftsmanship and, and what, what you guys do? Uh, so a couple of us you know, came to this uh, this last year mm -hmm. and uh, really liked the ideals. Um, there was an alternate meet, uh, group mm -hmm. in, in Pittsburgh that we meet pretty regularly. And we liked the format of that, and uh, you know the diversity and the technologies mm -hmm. and the things that they used, and it sort of fizzled out. Uh, I don't know why, mm -hmm. um, but then there was really nothing. Right, all of the big technologies had their own distinct groups. Um, there was an agile uh, group, um, and some of those things, but there wasn't one that was sort of open format. Right, uh, you know, bring whatever is sort of ailing you at the time to the table, and mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. So, so nothing that was kind of just above the um, the field of software development. Correct. It's more like Ruby, Java, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think a lot of us had day jobs where we were sort of using this stack mm -hmm. and we had an interest in something else and we wanted, uh, you know, just a friendly push to keep us on track, right? Right. And uh, the alt-net had some of that, but, you know, even they weren't touching on some of the, the, the stuff that we wanted to look at, right. Redis or, or, or Mongo or something like that, something that we, wanted to experiment in, you know, using for our day jobs, but didn't have the opportunity to, right. or it just didn't have traction. Okay. And, you know, when we were kind of chatting a little bit before, I said something about, oh, you lead the group, and you're like, no, it's not really that I lead the group, it's more of, so it's, it's something like you had more of a, a team um, committee that was, was helping guide the group. Uh, how, did, how does that work? It, it, it's a small group. Uh, we had started it probably six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was your traditional format, right? Meet after work at a sort of a central location. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of us, it just didn't work because right. it was, you know, we were some other part of town and it was hard to get there or it was, you know, I want to go home and see my kids before I go. Um, the format's not working for me. The, right. You know, the location, I, I want to have a beer, that, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, it, it just sort of went away. And you know we were just talking about coming here and oh we should we should get back on track and, and do that or and try it again, and um, you know I, I would say no one leads it but mm -hmm. you know people jump in at different times and sort of offer a steer like oh well, maybe we should try this or do that and and you know it's it, it's pretty accepting to try things and it sounds like you have a, a group of, of people who have of, of similar interests and it's a little bit of anarchy controlled anarchy where. We all kind of want to go in a direction. We all general, same general direction, but every now and then somebody else takes on the, the leader hat and and helps steer the direction. Or like, look, finding a location is mm -hmm. always sort of difficult because you you know maybe if you want to go and, and be in a restaurant where you can get something to eat or right. get something to drink, maybe that's not the most conducive place to to stand up and, and do a presentation, right. right? So we sort of struggled with that, um, and you know we. We all went out and found our own, well, what about this, what about that, and we just sort of voted on it. Right? Okay. And it wasn't a formal vote, it was just, hey, let's try this, meet me there at 7 o'clock and let's see what happens. Oh, okay. And, and it was like, hey, this is working, so let's So more, it. De more uh, uh, Greek democracy than mm -hmm. uh, chaos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so, like, has there been, uh, like, a kind of a format that's uh, emerged from that? Uh, is there a tendency towards one type of meeting over another, or...? Um, they're still experimenting. You know, I, I guess people have different thoughts on it. We've, mm -hmm. we, you know, we've we've gone to meetings where we didn't even open a laptop and we just talked about concepts, talked about yeah. you know, problems that we were having. Right? I moved from a traditional, uh, you know, setup to a, a totally distributed team, and so that we, I know, one meeting we just sat there and talked about my problems and right. what people thought maybe I could try uh, in order to fix this problem or that. Um, you know, other times. You know, we've tried to work through katas and things like mm -hmm. that. I think one of the big motivators for me is when I have to do something. It's not a kata, it's not an exercise, but I need to do this. Um, so one of the, the guys on the team, his wife works for a nonprofit in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. They needed some new web technologies. Obviously, they had no budget for it. Right. We said we would do it. Oh. And we sort of used GitHub to anchor us on that, assign tasks and, you know, do check-ins and things so like you, that. So you went beyond just having a group. You actually did something where, where it was an outreach and you created something for the community. Um, you know, we wanted to do Ruby, mm -hmm. and that's sort of how I met you. Yeah. Um, you know, we wanted to use Redis, and we wanted to do some of these other things. And you know, they have a free, you know, a whole free setup. Um, 
but it's PHP only. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we thought, well, you know, you never really get to pick a project with no constraints. The customer wants to yeah. use PHP. It's free for life. We should do that for them, right? So, okay. we, so we went back and uh, we said, okay, what can we do with that? We can, we can try to do it in a pure TDD style. Mm -hmm. uh, we, can, we can use GitHub, work distributed, come together once a month or, or you know, however often we do mm -hmm. and, and sort of set the stage for the next sprint and go to it. And uh, it's worked out, it's been pretty interesting. It's worked out pretty well for us. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, so more than just uh, active learning, you're actively creating something and, and you're kind of learning as a group how to create. That's, that's, that's very interesting. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's a style I haven't heard of. I've heard of uh, over, the, over the course of the day, people doing presentation style, people doing um, um, uh, you know, exercises, where you guys are actually learning by creating. So that's very interesting. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Dustin, for talking with me Thanks about your group. Thanks. Appreciate it.